911, this is the Bear Police. Officer Somda speaking. Hi, yes. I'd like to report two suspicious women acting very suspiciously. How are they suspicious? Well, one girl died. Died? Do you see the body? No. Dyed her hair black from orange. And then Robbie and the live sent a coffee truck for Huyin. But why? It says, please capture vocal treasure Huyin's voice prettily. Hashtag big project. Hashtag XR. Hashtag AR. So XR is extended reality and AR is augmented reality. Both are widely used recently at online concerts and performances. But is it for Begin Again? Her solo album? What is this big project? It was posted on October 16th, but who knows if the truck actually arrived on the 16th. It could have been for the first shoot of Begin Again, and they just posted it, you know, later. But speaking of Begin Again, the official videos of them singing their songs that are actually out for the first two episodes. You can listen to Love Shot With My Tears and Starry Night on the official channel. Unfortunately, Huyin did not join Melomance's gift. Tears. But speaking of busking, if you're in Korea, Wien will be busking on October 28th at 1730 at the Nexon University. She's a part of JTBC's special project where seniors and juniors sing songs of singers that have passed away to commemorate them. Melomance and Big Mama will be joining for this project as well. However, they're going to be busking at a different time than Huyin, and she's actually not going to join her. Huyin will be singing with Ula La Session and E Sung Chul, the same judge with Solar in The Legend, The New Singer. Surprisingly, I actually know one of the songs by Ula La Session called Beautiful Night. I heard it when I was in high school. But more importantly, Importantly, they also sang with my tears for Persevere Guhera. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're doing like a collab with Move My Tears again. Kind of like what they did with Melomance and Begin Again. But this might be the big project that they sent the coffee truck for. Maybe during one of their practices? I don't think it's the same program as Begin Again, but they are both under JTBC. Uh, and it'll air November 27th. So don't worry if you're not living in Korea. Hello, croissant. And this other girl got something on her sleeve. Do you see a weapon hidden? Oh, she's the most dangerous one. Her looks could kill. And she looks like she's preparing for a comeback because she's so silent on Instagram. <laughs> Another famous male dancer posted himself in RBW's dance practice room. Kinky. He was actually in Street Woman Fighter dancing for La Chica in one of the missions. Why is he there? Are they practicing for a comeback? Or just for Solar's concert? Yet even though Hwasa is so quiet, there's still so many people interested in her. So Hwasa went to the stargazing spot during I Live Alone last year on October 23rd. Now, Gapyeong remodels Starlight Garden of Hwak Tunnel Samji Park where many tourists had visited since her appearance. That place got so popular over the year that they built something where you can sit on the moon and stargaze comfortably. According to the article in Google Translate, the parking lot and facilities in Samji Park was actually really outdated. But due to the increase in visitors, they spent 150 million won to update their equipment and remodel the starlight theme, photo zone, and floor work, making sure it stays a safe and clean zone. The project was completed on September 27th. Safe and clean is what I like. You into soccer, officer? Moonbill was spotted filming for SBS's Kick a Goal, also called Shooting Stars on Cocoa. It's a sports variety show where female celebrities or wives of professional soccer players train for three months or so and play against each other in a league competition. So the goal post and field are actually a lot smaller than the professional one. It's like less than half the size of the field. But if you remember Heijin, the model in I Live Alone, she was actually a part of season one. 
in FC's Giants. Basically, this whole team is consisted of models. If you want more information about the show, she went on Jesse's show to view. Now, I started watching the show, and it's actually really fun, especially if you like sports but don't know much about it. They're all really sincere about it, even though they're not professionals, and that's the charm of the show. Mimbu also received a sponsored gift box that she showed on Instagram. It's the same sponsor that sponsors the show. News articles have been released saying that she might be joining FC's Top Girl, their latest and newest group, with Rura's Charina, SES's Bada, Baby Fox's Kanmyeon, Sugar's Ayumi, and Wonder Girl's Yubin. SBS only replied saying that you'll have to confirm their A6 player during the broadcast. There's a chance that she'll be playing against this other group, FC Wonder Woman and FC Anaconda. So FC Anaconda hasn't actually revealed their players yet, but FC Wonder Woman will actually consist of singers and actresses. So they'll have Song Soe, Cheetah, Hwang Soyun, Park Sugi, and Kim Mi Jung. Song Soo Hee actually met Moon Bill during the music variety show In Sync Kiss. Cheetah met Ma Moo during a radio show. Hwang Soo Yoon is actually Wein's friend. Uh, they made up for drinks and posted a picture on Instagram. Park Soo Gi is an actress. Her latest work was in Record of Youth, which is the show that Wein's OST is in. And Kim Mi Jung is an actress that played in Sweet Home. Hi, coming from the future. There's actually two Kimmy Jungs. One's born in 1970 and the other one's born in 92. I thought it was the older women that was going to join, but it's actually the younger one. Her latest work was back in 2019, Touch Your Heart and River Where the Moon Rises. I know nothing about soccer, but I watched a couple episodes of season one. Usually people that are strong kickers are the midfielders and defenders. Fast and accurate people are the forward strikers. And then the goalie is uh, usually people that are good kickers and not afraid of the ball flying in their face. So I have a feeling Moonbiel is going to be their ace forward player. One, she's probably too scared of the ball to be goalie. <laughs> <laughs> she might be too small for the goalie post, even though it's a lot smaller. Three, because she's so small, she actually might be super fast and agile enough to steal the ball from them. Dancers are really light on their feet, you know. Bada also talked about how their team is the best and how she loves being in the team. She feels like she's in a new girl group because each member cares about each other so much and they've been playing soccer every two days. They seem very diligent. Solar's also been diligent on keeping Solar Shidel on schedule. Her recent episodes have been very interesting though. She interviews through video chat with Aiki, the hook dance team leader in Street Woman Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> now that Solar has interacted with Aiki, all the Mama Moo members have actually interacted with Aiki, sort of. So Aiki taught Hwasa during Refund Sisters. Moonbyul interviewed Aiki in Studio Moon Night. Solar also just interviewed Aiki. And Huyen imitated her dance during her Instagram live video. And a fan reposted a picture of her doing that iconic dance move. So Aiki reposted that post that the fan Put. Uh, the fan tagged Wean and Aiki, so I don't know if Wean actually saw it, but Aiki definitely saw it. And I really, really hope Aiki will one day choreograph their dance. I personally like Aiki since Refund Sisters, but now I love her because of Street Woman Fighter. Wait, so is there any real danger near you? Mm. No, but if you must know, RBW will be building a content production center with 11 floors and a basement opposite to the new office building. By 2023, there will be dance rooms, recording rooms, performance halls, artist accommodations. I guess the purpose of this building is so that they don't have to rent like performance halls just to practice a stage for a concert or something like that. But basically, Mama will never probably never get to use it unless they renew their contract. Oh, well, maybe Moonbill and Solar might be able to use it for like six months. But this was Mama Moo News, bringing you news all about Mama Moo. Thanks for watching. Love you. Appreciate you. And I'll see you later. Bye!